Hi, this is Erika Carr and you are watching Bollywood Hangama. Erika, uh, bladed happy birthday to you. You had your birthday Thank recently you. on, I think, October 3rd. Yes, I, I am believe. 28. You are 28 and yes. you're, you're not sh just uh, shy to admit your age. Women generally don't don't admit their age all that. Oh, I look younger even. than I am, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Why worry? You, do. You, you do. Actually, it's good because I want to have children before I'm 30, so I have to admit my age. Mm -hmm. So that maybe I have babies soon. Yeah. M m okay. With my boyfriend, beloved future husband, of course. And obviously, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Obviously, I'm sure. Yeah, but I'm not, you know, I know I've heard that actresses in Bollywood that they lie about their age. Right. Or that they, you know, do everything they can to appear younger than they are. Mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty proud of every year that I've lived because thanks to being 28, I've already graduated. I have a master's degree in economy. Mm -hmm. This year I will have a master's degree in acting. And I've done many good things. I haven't wasted time. So I'm glad that it's been 28 years. Okay, and uh, you know, but uh, I'm sure that there must be many directors and, and, and actors who would like to, love to work with you. Um, and oh, yes. you're saying that, that you'd, you'd like to have a baby soon, so that must be a bit oh, of an attic plan. Oh, first, please. Huh? <laughs> no, no, first, you know, I have to, I know, I love my work and I would never ever waste that opportunity. But, yes, a baby is a good thing before 30, but let's not go into that because, you know, I have a very strong maternal instincts, like... Mm -hmm. I feel that I'm a mom that is still without children. So once I go into that area, it's going to be a <laughs> big problem. But of course, I'm excited to, you know, probably maybe get some new offers in Bollywood mm -hmm. and uh, portray another character because my journey with Olga was so much fun and it was such an adventure that now I'm, you know, like I'm hungry for more. I would like, I, I'm a workaholic, I love work. Right. So I can't wait to get some new jobs. And you, li you like Indian food a lot, I believe. I do. So what all, what all do, you, do you like to just dig your hands into? You like to eat with the hands, that's what you like about Yes, and about that's Indian what food. we do with my boyfriend at home. We, mm. found, uh, we found Indian places in Warsaw where we can go and just, you know, in eat. Poland. It's Warsaw in Poland. Yeah. Yes, in my country where I, where I live when I'm not in India. And we love to eat with our hands. And uh, actually, I love everything that is not too much of fit food. Mm -hmm. Like I had to be on a diet a lot for Shivai, so I was really sad. So there was few days of diet and then Ajay would say, go have your butter chicken, please. Because I was unbearable. So my number one is butter chicken, always, always. Like I could have it every day. Jira mm -hmm. rice, uh, aloo paratha for breakfast. Jira rice, aloo paratha, okay. Yes, jira rice for dinner more. But I also had the dal thing, which I didn't like so much. It was too mild for me. But I love everything, like, you know, on to the set, my, my friends, like people from the crew would bring me some kebabs and biryani, right? And they were like, you have to try homemade, <laughs> eat this, eat that, eat that. So, right. I'm a food person, big time. You're a food person? I love, I love food. But, yeah. but, but somehow it doesn't show, actually, so what, what, what do you do for that? From time to time, I move my, <laughs> my uh, s s sweet legs and arms and I go to the gym, but I'm not that much, like... I think I have good genes because mm. I eat a lot, like a lot. Mm. Not an actress who says, oh, I love food and then I eat half a sandwich. When we order pizza, it's a fight. Like I fight with my boyfriend who's going to get the last piece mm. and he's not getting it. So I really like food. And mm. when I have to lose weight for a role, especially, then I just get really motivated and I order a diet from a chef or something and I go to the gym every day. If a character demands it, I can get really skinny or really fat. I don't care. It's like... Uh, we like the confidence actually, that, that, that's really amazing actually. Alright, uh, now Erika, uh, do you realize that I, I believe you were not aware of the fact that uh, uh, this is the first time that, that uh, Ajay Devgan was, was, was kissing on screen no, in 25 years of his, of his career? No, he didn't. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you Ajay. <laughs> he didn't tell me that. <laughs> so if, if, if he wouldn't have told you, do you think it would have been difficult for you? Of you know? course. I, right. I would feel that it's something, you know, mm. like... I would, I, would, I, would person, feel the, I would feel the weight of the event mm. and uh, right now it was just like, okay, now we have the kissing scene, yes, let's discuss it, let's go over it, da, 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 and we just shot it as any other scene. Mm. So I did not know and it went, worked out for the best. Yeah, in fact, he told me that um, it has been that the aim was to shoot it aesthetically and it should be, uh, it should be more of a suggestion of, of, of a kiss more than like just, just showing it for any uh, voyeuristic purpose. Absolutely, it it wasn't about that. It was it was about showing the love that has um, come.
come to life between these two characters. Mm -hmm. So I think that these kissing sequences were very important for the story of Olga and Shivai. And both Ajay and I were 100% committed to tell the story as well as possible. So we really focused on, you know, on different lightings, different angles, different cameras. We wanted to do it beautifully, aesthetically. I think that sh sh cinema doesn't always demand realism. Mm -hmm. You know, like in real life, if someone is tired, they would really be tired. In cinema, you can sometimes use a sign or use a hint of something Absolutely. to lead the audience. And you don't have to make them uncomfortable. Yeah.